bullies. We've all had them. We all hate them. So let's get on with it. Well, if you if you've ever had a bully like mine, you're pretty much through it. I have one almost every year of my life. First grade, this kid Raymond gave me a scrape on my leg, Dick. Which, but he always made fun of me. But there's one problem with that. You were around like I don't know five or six at the time. I forget how old you are. And how I was at the time, but it's retarded. So, you don't know any bad words. So, you can't say fuck shit, any of that bull. So, you don't even know retarded, so you can't say that. So, the best you could say was, could have been, you, know, you stupid person. And, I don't know, or midget. I've, but then there was a bunch of, but bullies are different than dicks. They're just people who hate you. They wish you were dead. Okay? That's something I hate. So, here's an example of bullies for me. Rayman, as you all heard, gave me a scrape. Oh, he pushed... He pulled me down a slide. And pushed me... When there's this mighty bar thing at my old school. It's the annex of PS11. It really, really... Sucked. <laughs> no one really liked it, but... Eh. But then there was the next year. Second grade, better, better. I'm gonna skip until fourth grade. In fourth grade, I was like, I don't know, nine or eight when it started. It was, well, it was this kid named Dante. He was an asshole. And I don't know why he was this way. He was left back twice. And he didn't even do his homework. He, we, everyone called him retarded. But even his teachers called him retarded. Which I guess is what he really was. <laughs> Don't see if you're watching this, fuck you. I hope you killed yourself. And either way, uh, back to now. Then it's all punchable. Okay, guys? And you don't even know. It, he was one of those assholes who punched you and didn't even do his homework. So he didn't even have a redeeming quality about himself. So you couldn't even do think about, oh, maybe... Has problems at home? No. I've seen his mom. He, she's nice. Okay? But she, but he's a dick to everyone he knows. Okay? So then when that happened, I'm pissed. So I start, so I get, start trying to punch him. This is when fights start happening. I get in trouble for stuff I didn't, that I don't do. And it's usually because I, because I fight back. So if I tell someone they, it happens, they try to help, but the kid, but he goes harder. But if you fight back, you get in trouble. There's nothing you can do in this situation at the time. Especially if you're in a school like mine. You think, they're the best school in the Bronx. Ugh, I hate those schools. Every day, every assembly, every year, they need a song. PS11 is the best, it's the best for every boy and every girl. Every year we pass a test, pass a test. So help us sing our songs of bullshit. Ugh, it's a bunch of bullshit. And MPS 11 is one of the worst schools in the Bronx. You have to know that about my school. Yeah, it really sucked there. Fifth grade, three kids. Dylan, Tayshawn, Samuel. Tayshawn, fuck you. Samuel, fuck you. Dylan, I'm sorry for everything that happened. I'm I'm really sorry about what happened there. I caused it that time. Not my, f not your fault. But you did, but you did make Tisha Samuel Dix. Sorry about that, but that was just what happened. Either way, Tisha on and Samuel were assholes. They were the new kids to the school. I had nothing was big about them. I tried making friends with them, but they're dicks. He had creeper. He, the kid had creeper. Creeper hoodie and Samuel just wore the uniform. Didn't really wear the uniform. I don't know. I can't really remember about how they looked like, except they sh But uh, Samuel looked like a kid with short hair, not not bald hair, not like he's going bald, but short hair, a little up, uh, something like that. I don't know. He always wore rich. He always wore the uniform. He didn't really wear the uniform and. He wore a hoodie sometimes. Tishon, the creeper hoodie, 
and a ponytail. Yeah, this kid had a ponytail, and he was making fun of me. Yeah, that's just retarded. If you ever seen this kid, but the kid's a dick. Every year he kept punching me, kick pushing me behind something, and yeah, the, he was a dick, a capital. He was a dick with a capital D. So when watching him mess up with me, I punch. So I want to fight. He's a dick. Make fun. He's I'm why is he dicks. He's a dick. So I try. So I throw. He was playing football at me, so I threw back at him. Getting in trouble, sent up, sent up, sent upstairs to Miss Burke. It was some bullshit. I don't know. I actually know why they think it's my fault. I was trying to be nicer to him, but he was a dick. Either way, the kid, I finally get to snap and punch him. And I, I actually don't get in trouble. They run around me doing hit and runs. Then I finally grab onto him and, and throw him onto the floor. They say I did cause it first, but then I explain to them what happened, and they get in trouble for the first time in forever. And then we go to fifth, sixth grade. I'm new into this new school of CMSP 327. They share they share the grade with they share the school with with another school called Mount Eden. So I was on the second floor for my first year. I played my games. I mess around a lot. Then I'm pissed. Henry. This kid's an asshole. He, the kid called me, make fun of me. He was left back twice. He was left back twice as well, like Dante. But luckily, and this was in 602. Because of this, I had to leave, switch classes. Yes, you heard me right. I had to switch my class. But at least that was a good thing, because I had no bullies in that class. Oh. And that Henry wasn't the only one in that class. It was another kid named Kenneth Alejo. Yes, that's his name. Same as mine. Okay? So when watching this, the kid, if you saw him, you think, oh, he's just one of those tall kids. You know, he was not nice up a little, but then he became a huge dick. So, I hit this. Want to punch him? Punch him a bit? And... I don't ever get in trouble with you. Here's why I got swapped. I put... I was putting the back of this kid. Okay? Well, because the asshole, Mr. Marcus, told me about... Told me... You have to sit in the back from now on. Then when I try to move my desk away from him, he said, Where? Put your desk back right next to him. Or your, or your kids out of class and get detention. Or you guys here before my class, I forget. Yeah, it was a bunch of yelling... And he was pissed, so I finally get the right idea. I had detention one day for lunch because I didn't do my homework, and I decided, why the hell not? I had PB and J because they only let you bring PB and J's up for some reason, and it was only that was the only thing to eat. So I bring up my PB and J. I see his, he, he sits right next to me, so I decide, why don't, why don't I prank him? That usually goes well for me. So I drop. So I put some jelly on a seat. Not a lot. Just a dab. And then the next period, he's pissed yelling. I don't do anything. And he's pissed as all hell. I punch him in the... F I get pissed while I yell at him. And, and... But then, he's always a dick to me. He always makes annoying noises. He just tell him to stop, but he doesn't listen. It's hell. Just Hell. But stops, so I tell him exactly what happened. You can swap me off in your class. I'll take 603, which was, was quote unquote, the worst class in the school at the time. Which seemed normal, didn't seem sucky. Yeah, actually, it was one of the good classes, actually. They didn't do much work, it was calmer. It, well, not calmer, but nicer to me. I had more friends in that class Irene, Kashmir, which. Irene was pretty good, and Kashmir, I think she went by Savage Cream on one of my our videos. And also, Elion Bastia, who went by the name Sans the Skeleton on some of our videos, which you can see in my credits. I was also put with Captain Girly Gamer, aka Isabella Reyes, who actually was good. She, if we, on the first day I was there, 
She kept trying to do accents. I marked out every accent she did. She did Dracula. She kind she kept well, she kept going to Italian, Mario, Luigi, Peach, all that bull. It was it was a riot. And that was only sixth grade. Currently, I'm in seventh in the seventh grade. And get this, bully bullies. Not just bully bullies. So here's the bullies I have. Here's all their names or no currently. Sayel and Jakimo. These guys are assholes. Jakimo is just a dick who just does who's annoying and uh, and I think he's a faggot or gay or homo. I hope this video doesn't get flack. And and Zayel, he's a whole lot of matter. He he yells at me, he makes fun of me. I just want to punch him in the face. But why I say it why? He's a dick about it. He always he, he always usually gets off the hook, but he always gets suspended. It just all began with Sayel. Back in I don't know, around the beginning of the year. I was walking upstairs, he kicks me into a heater. Yes, he kicks me directly into a heater. I fall, I cannot get up. Vanessa, a kid from my old school, actually helps me up here. She takes me she takes me to Miss Brown, gets me gets me help. I'm sent, and Zayel is called up. He sent to Jackson, and and there was a hearing for this. I never, I didn't know about this for a while until recently. Now I, now I know about this. It was I'm laughing my ass off at this kid. So now Jakimo, the kid, guy's just a dick. And, and but it was all oh, it was Jakimo, Osman, Deshaun, and I think it was Nazir too. He was also a dick. And, in a way, he just wasn't a good guy. I just want him to shut up. Okay? But now it's mulled out. I'm friends with, I'm friends with Nazir, Osman, Deshaun now. And, but, get this, Shaquille's class was swapped. And currently, Sion was kicked out of the class. He's suspended, I mean. I mean, if he keeps getting suspended, I think it's a suspension. Which I think he should be just kicked out of the school. I don't think he should even be here anymore. He kills the back twice. Yeah, twice. So anyway guys, subscribe to the animator. Her link will be in the description. And please, please, just like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, this was the Game Buster. So peace out, guys. I'm so Thank you.